All right, everybody, welcome back. Today we have some dev notes for JP and the Korean version of the game. So let us actually hop in and take a look at what we're getting. Now, I have not actually seen anything on this, so this is all going to be brand new to me as well. So, before we begin our dev developer notes we sincerely apologize for any confusion caused to any player regarding the recent renewal of weekly event schedules okay we are sorry that we are unable to fully consider the actual play patterns and environment of the players who are enjoying the weekly event which is different from the intention of the weekly event schedule we'd like to improve re reoccurring events like the upcoming weekly event to a format that works with critical content to support more efficient players or play depending on the time of the major event and so we will make every effort to improve based on the opportunity of the players okay that's kind of that's kind of cool they're apologizing and stuff uh our first big bulletin here it's going to be the 30 million download Big Thanksgiving, which is very interesting because Thanksgiving's not for quite some fucking time. But, you know, uh, the Seven Deadly Sins, Battle of Light and Darkness has exceeded 30 million downloads worldwide thanks to the warm cheers of players. There are still a lot of things that are missing, but this is also thanks to the players who are still supporting. In commemoration of the 30 million downloads, we plan to have a big Thanksgiving event with gratitude. We also prepare a lot of event rewards to help you develop various events and characters. So please look forward to that. <clears throat> Our second big bulletin, improvements to the Tower of Trials. Okay, this might be pretty big or pretty not so big. Uh, the Tower Trials is being remodified with the goal of being released soon. As we publish in our dev notes in December, we plan to change the Tower Trials to a tower type content format that continuously adds higher stages rather than the content that is initialized on a season based season. Okay. The Super Awakening coin and basic growth materials that are regularly earned in the Tower Trials will have the opportunity to continue be, to be earned in a variety of content, including missions, regar regular events, and SP Dungeon Fort Solaris as the Tower of Trials improve, improves. In addition, we plan to change the traditional 25-layer Tower of Trials to event content and show it, show it off in a way that reopens at a certain event. Okay, before we move any further, <clears throat> I wanted to talk about this. This is kind of big, but also it depends on where and how they uh, do it. So them remodeling the Tower of Trials is good, you know, uh, for newer players at least who can't really complete the content. Uh, it is very hard because the CC is like 250 now, I think it was 300k. But I think it's 250 now. So not a lot of players will have uh, all that stuff if they're new. <clears throat> so that's, that's good. But this is kind of concerning as well. Because right now the 25 layers gives quite good rewards. Um, anvils, hammers, gems. Gives us all that stuff. So if they renew this stuff... I'm wondering what they're going to do with the rewards. Maybe they're up the rewards a little bit, but I don't think so. But we'll have to see whenever this actually comes out. But the Super Awakening coins, uh, being able to be gotten from any of these events, I think that's really good. Because Super Awakening is such a big, big um, boost to your characters. So, this is going to be really interesting to see forward. Ooh. Introduction of my... Oh, this is huge. If they do this right, this right here, the renewal of the Hawk Pass is going to be massive. Because you have to pay, I think it's 8 or $9 for the Hawk Pass right now. Uh, for the uh, paid version. 
Of course, the free-to-play version gets really fucked, but... Um, let me see here. The Hawk Pass system reform and mileage introduction. Published in the previous developer notes will be applied at the end of February. Okay, so... What is that, like a week from now or something like that? Okay. The renewal Hawk Pass retains existing level achievement rewards and allows you to earn separate mileage when completing missions by segmenting missions into daily and weekly missions. In addition, we plan to introduce a mechanism that activates the bonus effect when you purchase a paid Hawk Pass. And they're keeping the paid Hawk Pass. Alright, well, okay. And increasing the mileage that can be earned with each mission achieved. Hawk Pass mileage can be used at dedicated shops, but since it takes a certain amount of time to earn mileage to purchase products, the mileage shop renewal cycle will be set separately from Hawk Pass sale period. In addition to paid goods, we plan to regularly add new costumes that can be purchased with a Hawk Pass mileage to the Kami Ware shop. I think that's the coin shop but um i mean this seems interesting it's not as big as what i was hoping uh keeping the paid hawk pass version is really ass but it makes sense since it is a gotcha and they want money but honestly if they would have like gotten rid of this and made it so that uh all people would be able to have everything from the hawk pass that would have been huge but Oh, well, uh, this seems interesting, though. Hawk Pass Mileage Shop and all that stuff. So that could be cool. Of course, the, all the new costumes and stuff is really nice as well. Uh, oh, what is this? So, our number four, bu four bulletin. Excuse me, I can't really talk today. I don't know why. <clears throat> new mode of Super Boss Battles. We are planning to add a new mode to the existing Super Boss Battle Returns. Instead of adding the upper difficulty and mode of Super Boss Battle, as described in the previous developer notes, we plan to change the method to update it in a separate new mode. Okay. Instead of Super Boss Battle consisting of existing battle score, accusation methods, and ranking systems, we plan to update to content that is purely aimed at capturing and clearing and will be changed to the top difficulty and hall of fame system okay the new mode of super boss fights will take place in a shorter period of time than existing super boss battles during the off season when there are no new super boss battle under development okay so this is basically saying that final bosses are going to become a little bit harder with difficulty and that they're going to change the system of how the final boss battle works uh, because right now how super boss battle works if you get a high score then you get good rewards if you get a low score you don't get so good rewards uh, so there, I think that's what they're going to do here uh, we'll have to see what happens but this hall of fame system is interesting uh, moving down, stage 5, or whatever, Bolton 5, Night Siege Battle, tentative name and night function reform, I don't know what the fuck that means, but okay, uh, we are currently developing a night stage battle where all knights can play cooperative time battles such as the knights battle, knights who meet the conditions for participating in the night siege battle are matched at 1-1 one, one during the siege bat period and are exclusive content for knights competing for victory or defeat. And with a knight battle, the knight's de defensive team will be placed at each base and the match knights will capture each other base with attack. Okay. Uh, what is different from the knight battle is that there is a boss... Bo oh! Oh, okay. There is a boss monster that defends the main base and it becomes a method of advancing the siege battle with a strategy capturing each base, defeating the mo boss monster. As the night siege is updated, we plan to improve the convenience of knights' login, reduce contributions, 
always on notification and other features we plan to reform the night shop okay we will continue to add night features and growth systems and we plan to reform that they can grow faster such as through events support that okay so this is huge so instead of the regular uh guild wars that we have now they're actually kind of making it to where instead of fighting against player v player for a win i think if i'm understanding this right we're getting uh guild bosses instead so like uh how do you how would you put that uh instead of like the actual guild bosses your whole guild will come together to defeat one boss, I think is what this is meaning. And I could be wrong, you guys can correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Uh, but that's cool, and improvements to the night shop is big. Uh, it's already good, but we have now, but um, yeah, it kind of needs a little bit more work. And what else was there in this one? Um... Da, 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 reduce contributions, convenience of the night's login, all that stuff is actually pretty big. Okay, so, okay, our last bulletin here, addition of character development elements. Well, it is necessary to have a nurturing element that makes characters stronger in a collecting RPG of genre. We believe that it is important to maintain the purpose and goals of play while preventing the development of characters from becoming a burden on play. And at that same time to contribute continuously expand the content that can be newly played using the characters that have been nurtured uh currently we are pl con carefully considering adding the character of development stage and expanding the level and we are planning to also plan collaboration content for character development and new content for utilizing cultivated characters we will be preparing to tell you the additional policy implement timing of the development element in the developer's notes in the near future. Wow, that is a mouthful. Um, okay, so this is cool. Um, lessening the burden on characters is nice. Uh, same time, it looks like they're going to up the level cap from, what is it? Uh, level 80 so maybe we'll get like level 85 here before too long that will be cool um other than that i think that's it for this segment <laughs> going down though we do have some more notes and this developer note we talked about more specific plans for content published in previous developer notes, development policies that are currently under consideration. The next notes will tell you what players are expecting from now on. Thank you for much for uh, the game. Okay, so that's it. That's everything in the developer notes, guys. Um, honestly, a lot of this looks really good. I think the biggest kind of worry on my part here is what they're going to do with the Tower Trials because it already is a decent format. It's harder for newer players, but the rewards are so good. But I'm hoping if they are going to do improvements to this that there's going to be more rewards. Now, if they lessen the rewards but make it easier that's going to be a little bit tilting uh, because it's already pretty easy to get to like uh, floor 22 at the most for a lot of players so this is kind of something we're going to have to look at and stay kind of worried and not really worried but just keeping a real good eye on this but as for that that is going to be everything thank everyone for watching and I will probably do a stream later tonight. But um, yeah, I hope everyone has enjoyed. Stay safe and I'm outie later.